Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a web scraping exercise on Yelp using Python and Beautiful Soup. As in any web scraping exercise, the first thing you want to do is to take a look at the website itself. So here I'm on Yelp website. So I'm going to find burger restaurants in the city of Melbourne. So this is the page, first page of search results. Go down a little bit to see the entire page and get a sense of how it looks like. So here we have a list of 30 restaurants. Okay. So we're start off, we're gonna start off by looking at the elements. So I'm gonna um, click on the name of the first restaurant, right click on it, and go to inspect element. Then we'll get another window on the bottom here. And this will show the corresponding HTML tag that corresponds to the element that we're looking at. So as we can see here, it is the A tag with class equals to all this and the name being here. Okay, so this is one example. So for this, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to look for elements within the main attribute, so which is right here. So this is the parent that encompasses, as you can see, the box here shows uh, how it is encompassing elements within that box. So I'm gonna look for I'm going to write a code that will get the name, number of ratings, number of reviews, and how pricey the restaurant is. Okay, so I'm going to go through each and every one of the HTML tag that contains those information. Um, so we just went over the name right here, as I showed you earlier, and then so next, I'm going to show you the number of ratings. Go to inspect element again. So here, as we can see, it is in the div tag. Class equals all this. And, and it is underneath the attribute area label. You can see the four star rating right here. Next, we can go to um, number of reviews. And that is under span tag with class equals all this. Number of reviews right here. And then how pricey the restaurant is, is right here. It's also underneath the span tag. And the dollar sign being right here. So, so it's important that we, after identifying all these uh, classes, that we copy and paste the exact and correct class names into our code in order to get the right information. So that's one of the most important thing. So I have my code written here on Jupyter Notebook. We're going to be using the beautiful soup package for parsing HTML and XML files. So first we're going to import BS4, beautiful soup SBS. And then um, we're going to be using the URL lit dot request library and I'm going to import that as URL and basically this is um, to fetch the link uh, using the URL open uh, command. I'm going to set that as source. And next we're going to be using the beautiful soup HTML parser to parse the link and turn it into beautiful soup objects and I'm going to set that to page soup. Okay, so next using the find all command from beautiful soup, I'm going to find all the div tag with class equals to all of this which corresponds to the main attributes Okay, I'm going to find all the div classes, all the div class 
of all 30 restaurants listed on the um, search result page. And I'm going to set that to mains. Okay, I'm going to run that. All right. So before we go any further, I want to try out first uh, with one restaurant, okay, mainly the first item on the list. And, and as we have seen just now, it is the Huxta Burger restaurant. And um, so I'm going to subset that out using the index zero. And I'm going to write the code business name equals to main dot find dot a tag dot text. Then I'm going to print out the name here. See that works. So here it is printing out the name of the restaurant. And then uh, next. I want to try the ratings of Huxta Burger, okay? And here I have the code ratings equals the main dot find the span tag class equals to all this dot diff because we know the rating is underneath the diff tag in the attribute area label so dot diff dot get area label and then I'm gonna print out the ratings using the print command okay so here we got the four star rating for Huxta Burger okay so basically you want to do this for the other for all the attributes that you want to look for and so I've already done for the other two, which is the number of reviews and how pricey the restaurant is. And I'm going to show you later. Those are pretty easy. It's just dot text. Um, and so, so next, I want to try setting up a loop of one attribute over all the 30 restaurants in in the in the main page. So all 30 restaurants of them. And then, um, so I'm going to start off with for main in mains, and I have this try accept command, which is, uh, which consists of two blocks, so try block and accept block. So it is basically very useful for error handling. So uh, anytime if there's an error in the try block, then the accept block will kick in and print none. And then after that, it will just move on to the next code underneath it. So nothing will get stop so the code won't break so that's the basically the main advantage of that so so uh, so let's try this then okay so basically it printed out all the names of the 30 restaurants on that first page okay so as we have all here okay so so we know that the loop works and so I'm going to set up a CSV file to save all the uh, info that we're going to get. Okay, so basically all the four attributes that we're going to get. Restaurant name here with the header, restaurant name, ratings, number of reviews, and price. Okay, so I'm going to run this and I'm going to save that as burgercsv.csv. Run that. Oh, why is it denied? Okay, let me try it again. Let me try as something else. Okay, let me try burgers dot underscore burgers. Okay, let's try that. See if it works. Okay, let's try that. Okay. That works for some reason. Um, I don't know why that didn't work. I might have uh, another file with the same name there. I don't know. So, anyways, um, so that works. Um, so next, we're gonna try setting up a loop for all the four attributes here. So I have for each attribute, I have the try accept block right here. So this is for the name. This is for the rating. So the number of reviews here. So I have finds the span tag for this class dot text and then for the price I have find span tag again class equals all this which I copied from the page and then dot text okay 
so it's pretty easy and in the end I have F right um, basically here is um, to say that to, to ask to ask it to skip to the next line okay before printing out um, the name ratings no reviews and price so in the end you want to close the file okay, let's run this let's run this So, okay, so it seems like it works. And you can, as you can see here for Huxtaburger, we have all the four attributes right here. And then for Royal Stacks, we have all the four attributes, three, four attributes right here. Okay, so, so here is where the try accept block is really helpful. As you can see, there's no information on how pricey this restaurant is for rooftop bar. So then after, it printed none, it will just go on to the next item on the list without breaking the code. Okay. Okay, so at this point we should be getting a CSV file in our folder. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. So let's open up our folder and our file name right here. Okay, so let's first inspect if we get all the four attributes. So we got all four of them, and we also got it for all 30 restaurants. So Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And before I wrap things up, I wanted to share with you guys two quick tips. So the first being, please make sure you get the right uh, tags and class names for each and every attributes because I find that they do change sometimes so make sure you get the correct one um, secondly what if your uh, loop does not work so that happened to me quite a few times so what I did was I would just set up um, individual loop just like that just, just like how I did for business name I would do that for each and every attribute and make sure I can separate out those that work and those that don't and need more work on Okay, so that's all I have for today. I hope this is useful and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments, please leave them below.